So, just came back from a physical and the doctor said, Steve, you gotta eat less red meat and more chicken. So more chicken recipes will be coming and I'm getting it started today by breathing new life into the tired old French recipe, chicken paillard. First, we need to deal with prepping the chicken. So let's just jump right into that. Now I'm gonna base this recipe off of the chicken paillard I had at Chaconi's the restaurant that's usually connected to the Soho house. And somebody took me there years ago and ordered it. And I just saw a round, thin piece of chicken with a nice salad on top. It always looked so good for some reason because of how thin and round it was. But years later, I tasted it recently and it was so bland and boring. Not marinated at all. So we're gonna marinate ours and we're gonna use a little pie dish to marinate it. First thing is we're just gonna use some oil. We're not gonna put a lot of acid or anything into the marinade. A little oil, some garlic, some flavor, some lemon zest. Those are gonna be the things that marinate it. And then we'll use some acidity in the vinaigrette dressing. Just enough oil to coat the chicken with all of the flavors. It's like a vehicle to get the seasoning flavors into the chicken. So we're gonna take one lemon and zest it. But you wanna save that lemon. We're gonna use the juice for the vinaigrette later. Take a little garlic clove, grate that into it as well. To that, I'll add a little garlic powder, a little onion powder, salt, black pepper. And a little bit of some dried oregano. And just mix it all together. We'll set that off to the side. So here I've got a bone-in, skin-on chicken breast. And I looked for one that's on the larger side. This all together right here is weighing about a pound. And I just look for these because they're a little bigger breasts than the ones you could butcher off of a chicken if you're butchering a whole chicken. And for mine, I want the chicken skin probably just to anger my doctor. And what we're gonna make with these chicken skins are sort of like a little bit of a crouton. So I'm just gonna tear the skin off. And this has been just uncovered in the refrigerator drying out overnight. I'm just gonna take that chicken skin and trim it up and then just place that on a plate, let it dry out in the fridge. And so now this is sort of how the breast sits on the whole chicken. And so what we have here is that breast bone. And so we're just gonna start to fillet the breast off of the bone. And see, you see how you can see a little seam here? I'm just gonna start to cut where that seam is. And you're just gonna go slow and use that rib cage to guide your knife. You're just using that knife to slice and peel away as much of that breast meat off the rib cage as you can. So you can see that little rib cage, you're just kind of cutting along it. And then what you can do is start to follow it along the breastbone using the tip of your knife, trying to get as much of that breast off the bone as possible and as cleanly as possible. And as you're slicing, you're sort of using your other hand to peel the breast meat away. And it'll help give you visibility, see where you're cutting, and just also the breast meat sometimes just rips off on its own from the bone. See how nice and clean that is? Now I have a bag of those little carcasses. I keep in the freezer, so whenever I make this recipe, I save this and then I can make stock with it later. So we're getting good utilization out of these chicken breasts. So at first I'm just gonna clean up any unsavory bits around the pieces of chicken and any fat. And then I wanna remove the tenderloin cause that kinda just gets in the way, but I'll marinate that and I'll cook that in like a salad. And then I'm gonna make a butterfly cut about one third of the way from the top of the breast. Go through, make a thin slice to the edge until it opens up. And then we wanna flip it on the other side of the chicken and you're gonna see the other two thirds of the meat sticking out and we're gonna make another butterfly cut the same way with just that side of the chicken and we'll open it up. Payard in French means flat. So the key characteristic is a flat piece of chicken here. Then we're going to take a plastic wrap, place it over the cutting board. And I like to use a rolling pin rather than a meat mallet to bang this out. Fine, it gets it a little bit more even. And now you don't want to bang straight down with the rolling pin. You almost want to hit it on an angle, almost like you're spreading the chicken away from you with the rolling pin. Now what I'm sure Soho House does to get it that shape is they trim it into a circle. And you can totally do that, especially if things start falling apart. You can just start to piece it together as a circle, but I always try and like to get a really flat, beautiful piece of chicken like that without tearing it apart. So right to that, we're gonna season the chicken directly. Just lightly season both sides evenly with salt and some fresh cracked black pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil to the marinade, just cause I can already foresee I'm gonna need a little bit more just to get everything coated. And then you just wanna add the piece of chicken to it, get both sides coated and then just season that other side and it's ready to hang out in the fridge. Chicken seasoned, marinated, we're gonna pop it in the refrigerator for about an hour or so. So this has a little time to marinate and the chicken skin has a little bit more time to dry out. 
So now while that marinates, we can get started prepping the rest of the ingredients, which basically consist of a vinaigrette, like a lemony French vinaigrette. And we're gonna pair that with a nice arugula salad with some goodies inside. So first let's do the vinaigrette. I'm gonna take that lemon we had. I'm gonna take about a quarter, you know, one of these cheeks. I'm gonna go straight in with the cheek. Let's call that about a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm gonna follow that up with another tablespoon or so of red wine vinegar. Now the amounts don't really matter if you know the ratio of vinaigrettes. So essentially, lemon juice, vinegar, those are acids. So combine them, that's our one part acid. Before we add our oil to emulsify, I'm gonna take a big chunk of Dijon mustard, let's call it a tablespoon, and then roughly an equal amount of agave honey works as well. Season it generously with some salt, fresh cracked black pepper. I like to add a little bit of dried oregano, maybe a teaspoon, whisk it together, and then slowly drizzle in some olive oil. And remember that one part of vinegar we added, that one part of acid? We're gonna go with about two parts of oil. And adding that slowly, whisking it together, the oil should emulsify and thicken with the rest of the ingredients, create a nice vinaigrette that's gonna act as a beautiful sauce for our chicken and vinaigrette for our salad. Now I like a nice thick vinaigrette for this to act like a sauce. And if it's a little thin, I just add a little bit more Dijon and it just thickens it right up. It should coat the back of a spoon. That's delicious, it's nice and thick. Works perfectly as a sauce for chicken as well as a vinaigrette. Set that off to the side. And so here are some of the goodies that are going in my salad. I'm gonna get some nice fresh greenhouse grown tomatoes, a little bit of fennel, some English cucumber, the thin one. These are great on salads. And then some fennel. A word about fennel. I hated fennel my whole life. I still don't like it raw. If you just shaved it, gave it to me untreated, I'm not gonna like it. However, I learned recently when you treat it with acid or like lemon juice, or even if you simply salt it and allow it to marinate, you cut it thin or you cook it, it is good. So if you hate fennel, listen to me, try this. I promise you, from one fennel hater to another, you will end up liking it in very particular ways. So again, I'm making a salad for one. So I only need like a little knuckles worth. That really should be plenty. Cut it in half and then cut the cucumbers into these like quarter inch half moons. I like a little bit of thickness on there just so I can get some texture in the salad. Add those to a bowl and then we're gonna take some cherry tomatoes. We're just gonna give those a cup into quarters. Then I'm gonna get those tossed into the bowl and then the fennel. I'm gonna cut a slice off the side, maybe a third of it. Cut off the green bits and then we're just gonna cut from the white into these little thin slices. And you don't need a ton for this salad. If it's just for one, you probably need a quarter cup. So now we've got our vegetables and what I'm gonna do is let them sort of marinate. I'm gonna hit them with some salt. That's gonna start breaking down that fennel, start bringing out different flavors from it. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of my vinaigrette and allow the acid in it to season and break it down as well. Give it a toss. So now these things are gonna start to marinate. Now I got my chicken skin. Now I got a sheet tray with a wire rack and I just sprayed that wire rack with some cooking spray just so the chicken skin doesn't stick. I'm gonna place it with the underside up because that's the least dried out so that dry air is going to help dry that surface out. Bottom side is that side that's been exposed and drying out in the refrigerator. So that shouldn't stick and should have an easy time crisping underneath with that airflow. So now we're gonna get this into an oven that's been preheating at 375 degrees. So we got this really large, thin piece of chicken, right? And I know some of you are thinking, where's he gonna cook that thing? And that's where the carbon steel griddle comes in by our sponsor today, Made In. Made In designs professional quality products for the home cook, and they partner with multi-generational factories and artisans to offer you a comprehensive collection of pots, pans, serveware, and everything else you might need to cook and serve food in a home kitchen. They really have everything you need at the quality level and the style level that I'm looking for, which is why I love this brand so much. Made with carbon steel, the pre-seasoned griddle from Made In helps you achieve faster and more even cooking just like a short order cook. It can handle up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit heat, all while staying naturally non-stick. With hand welded edges and raised handles for an ergonomic carry, this piece is perfect for cooking on the stove or the grill or even an open flame. It's also very large. It covers two burners and features these sloped sides that can contain up to 40 ounces of a liquid, which is a huge feature. This 
This large surface is perfect for breakfast, bacon, egg, or for dinner, smash burgers, and of course, chicken paillard. So to get hooked up with Maiden's carbon steel griddle and Maiden's other cookware, use my link down in the description and let's get back into the recipe. Now our chickens are marinated. Now I'm just gonna get my carbon steel griddle preheated, looking for around 400 degrees, and then we can check out our chicken skin. So after 20, 30 minutes, that chicken skin's nice and crispy. I'm just gonna let go a little bit longer while I cook this chicken. This chicken should be cooking for no more than three minutes. Now I got my maiden griddle pressed. That's gonna help out here for this cook. And I'm gonna spray the griddle with a little neutral oil, wiping off any excess. Just add a nice layer of seasoning before we get this chicken in. We're at a good temperature, over 400 degrees. I'm gonna add my chicken directly to the griddle and then place that griddle press right on top. And just let that sear on one side. And we wanna cook this chicken hot and fast. Maybe two, two and a half minutes on one side and then maybe 30 seconds a minute on the other. Next to that, I'm gonna squeeze some lemon and a little bit of that vinaigrette in a plate as sort of a post-cook marinade for the chicken. Now, I'm gonna cook the chicken 90% of the way on one side with that press on it. Once I see a really nice crust has developed on the underside and most of the top side has turned a nice pale, I know most of it's cooked. We can give it a flip and kiss it for about 30 seconds on that other side and then get it onto that plate to marinate and rest. Now, to clean the griddle, while it's still hot, I'm just gonna wipe it down with a little paper towel, get most of that excess the gunk picked up and then I'm just to add a few ice cubes to it those ice cubes will steam clean the pan picking up anything that I'm just gonna scrape with a spatula and then I'm gonna use a paper towel clean it up spray with a little oil wipe out any excess and this is ready to be used again now I'm gonna get the chicken skin out of the oven it's perfect it's ready to go and we can plate now I want to toss the salad last minute so it's nice and crisp I'm gonna take a handful of arugula add it to the bowl with the vegetables with a little bit of salt and a little bit of the vinaigrette and toss it. Then on a plate, I'm gonna drizzle in a nice kind of dotted pattern of vinaigrette all along the bottom of the plate and then add the chicken breast directly on top of the vinaigrette and then spoon a little bit more vinaigrette right on top of the chicken. Then we're gonna place a handful of the salad right on top with all those little goodies. And then we're gonna take that chicken skin and we're gonna break it in a paper towel so it crumbles apart and then sprinkle those crumbles right on top of the salad. So this is one of my favorite things to eat right now currently. Springtime, you're trying to eat a little healthy, a little lighter, easy to put together, it's fun, it's quick. That chicken cooks in three minutes. How can you beat that? Recipe's gonna be down in the description. That's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.